A chemical hazard is any chemical substance, regardless of its form, that could potentially cause harm to the human body or even cause loss of life. Chemical hazards are mainly caused by the characteristics of chemical substances that may cause explosions, fires, or corrosions, or emit poisonous gases or mini-particles. Often, chemical substances react negatively when exposed to, or mixed with other materials or chemical substances. For instance, asbestos particles are usually dispersed in the atmosphere when moved. There are several types of chemical hazards in the workplace. While there are several classifications for these chemical hazards, many of these hazardous chemical substances fall within these classifications. Affixients. Chemical affixients deprive the body of oxygen, interrupting the transfer and use of oxygen by the bloodstream. Examples include carbon monoxide, cyanide, phosphine. Corrosives. Chemical corrosives cause visible and or irreversible changes to the composition of a material due to direct contact. Similarly, these can also cause a localized reaction in the human body at the point of contact. However, corrosive chemicals also have the potential to produce systemic chemical exposure away from the point of contact when mixed with other substances. Examples include sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide. Irritants. Chemical hazards that are classified as irritants cause harm to the eyes, skin, or respiratory tract of a person. Irritants are either highly, moderately, or slightly water-soluble. The hazards can manifest as redness, rashes, inflammation, coughing, or hemorrhaging. Irritants are mostly short-term severe illnesses but can also have long-lasting side effects in some people. People can also have an allergic reaction to some of these chemical materials with long-lasting health impacts or even be fatal. Examples include nickel chloride, chromic acid. Sensitizers. Sensitizers are also known as allergens meaning they cause an allergic reaction in people who face repeated exposure over time to certain chemicals. Reactions to chemicals deemed as sensitizers vary from person to person and can be either acute or chronic. Chemical exposure can manifest as swelling of the airway or develop into dangerous illnesses such as lung disease. Some diseases such as asthma and contact dermatitis become common among people due to overexposure to chemicals. Examples include chlorine, alkalis, benzylic and allylic halides. Carcinogens. Carcinogens are cancer-causing chemical substances, and a small amount of such a chemical is enough to severely harm human health. The hazards of such chemical substances will only appear years after exposure. Examples include benzene, cadmium, formaldehyde, vinyl chloride. Mutagens. Chemicals classified as mutagens cause genetic changes to a cell's DNA and RNA. Genetic changes can cause cancer, prevent normal biological functions, or may result in the malfunction of a particular organ. Examples include benzene, ionizing radiation. Teratogens. Chemical teratogens can disrupt the normal development of a fetus causing birth defects and even the healthy advancement of pregnancy. Examples include thalidomide, ionizing radiation, organic mercury compounds. Reactive. Chemical substances that cause a chemical hazard such as an explosion when mixed or combined with other chemical or non-chemical substances such as water or air. Examples include nitric acid, benzoyl peroxide, silane. Silane is a colorless pyrophoric toxic gas with a sharp repulsive pungent smell, somewhat similar to that of acetic acid. Flammable. Many chemicals are characterized as flammable as they can easily burn or ignite when exposed to oxygen. Examples include methanol, acetone, propane, butane. Hazardous substances are used for a variety of tasks, from simple cleaning operations to complex chemical processes. Hazardous substances have the potential to harm human health. They may be solids, liquids or gases. They may be naturally occurring, manufactured as a single substance or mixture, or can be a byproduct of an industrial process. When used in the workplace, these substances often generate vapors, fumes, dusts and mists. Chemicals can exist in many physical states. They can be solids, liquids, gases, dusts, which are inhalable and respirable, fumes, vapors, and mists. The physical state of chemicals may change, depending on the environmental factors and, or processes. They are important to consider when assessing the roots of exposure. To understand the nature of chemical hazards, it is important to know the potential means for contamination such as vapor, spray, splash, and immersion, and the route of exposure to the worker. While the use of chemicals in processes, production, and goods has benefited people in many ways, these chemical substances are also the cause of chemical hazards. There are several routes of chemical exposure as follows. Inhalation. That is breathing in toxic vapors or small chemical particles. Human biology allows chemicals and other toxic substances to enter the body in different ways. The most common is inhalation when harmful gases are present in the atmosphere. 
Absorption such as direct exposure to the skin by touching a chemical substance without any protection such as wearing gloves. Injection of a hazardous chemical or contaminated substance is possible if employees are working in laboratories or medical facilities dealing with contaminated needles and other infectious materials. Ingestion. That is when toxins are accidentally swallowed, but it is a less common form of exposure in the workplace. This is Safety Talk Points. Thank you for watching.